is also Falcon looking to partner more tower. with the emerging Starting commercial space tank. sector. Right. You know, these private vehicles to go to low Earth orbit. What do you think about that? I don't have any problem with that. In fact, I applaud those types of ideas. But calling them private is, I think, a misnomer. Only 10, 15, maybe 20 percent of the money being invested in those vehicles comes from the companies. Mm. The rest of the money is coming from NASA. And that money is coming out of one NASA pocket that could be helping to accelerate the Orion and the SOS programs uh, to fund those commercial projects. I have other problems with the commercial projects from the perspective of NASA potentially not having as much insight into those vehicles or as much say into the design and the safety of those vehicles and how they would be operated. Um, so if, if my friends are going to be flying in those, if NASA crew members are going to be flying in those vehicles, uh, I would like to have the same levels of awareness and knowledge and assurance that those vehicles are going to be as safe and as capable as you can possibly get them. Uh, in addition, I don't see a business model that says that any of those commercial ventures with their human vehicles can make money unless it's NASA that's using them. They might be able to make money with NASA using them and other people using them, but with just other people using them, I don't think they can make a goal of it financially. If we did use one of them to go to low Earth orbit to put our crews to the International Space Station or, or otherwise, um, and, and if we could get all of the assurances that they were, they were safe and we're confident with all of that, there still becomes another complicating factor. Let's say that that uh, company loses a vehicle and its crew, either a NASA crew or a commercial crew going to some other place. Uh, those companies will probably not be able to withstand the financial uh, impact to their, to their program, and they will go out of business. Where does that leave NASA in, in terms of getting our crew members to and from space, low Earth orbit? There's a lot of issues that I'm not sure that are being fully addressed and cause me concern. Space.com.